guys, welcome back to Chef Reno Show. Today we are in Lazio and we're in Provincia di Reti. We actually they created this fantastic recipe called La Matriciana with spaghetti. But, 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 we will do with the Bucatini, guys. Bucatini pasta, because as you know, in Rome is very, very classy recipe. And so we're gonna use our Bucatini. Don't go nowhere. We're gonna review you two places where you can visit and two places where you can get fantastic food. First thing, we're gonna take the pancetta. Pancetta. And we're gonna cut pancetta. Come on, guys, come close. Pancetta, we're gonna use all that. We just few pieces because we, we won't do for one person. Pancetta, and we go this. Usually, we're supposed to use guanciale, but I couldn't find guanciale this time, so we stick with pancetta. So, piece of pancetta, and we do strip like this. You guys can visit Il Castello di Nemi. I will leave you all the information in the description box. At the meantime, keep in watching our fantastic show. Pancetta. Come here, guys, come here. So, you get a pot here, nice and smoking hot, as you can see it. You get the pancetta. Come here, guys, come here. Look, can you the noise? You see it? All right, fantastic. At the same time, we burn our fire a little bit gentle, not, not extremely hot, because you want to melt and not burn the, gray, the fat. Now, at the same time now, come, come here, guys. Let's get the other stuff going, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do be after the pancetta, you wanna put in the pasta and cook. You guys can also visit Il Lago di Nemi, the Lake of Nemi. And Nemi is also besides the castle and the lake, it's also known about La Città delle Fragole and where actually they grew fantastic strawberry. Bocatini, give it text. We are hungry here. <laughs> so, Bocatini in the water, boom. There you go, show the, our beautiful, fantastic audience. Beautiful. Get the garlic, and you put one in the pancetta. See, you gotta be face down, so you get some flavor. And the other one, come here guys, you put in here. And now we're gonna turn the fires up, also this one. Like the very gentle, and you start putting the garlic. I mean the garlic, face down. Now. Remember I told you about the onions, guys. Come here, guys. Now, some people use onions, some people don't. I'm gonna do both. Taking with the entire skin, like this. Entire skin, then we're gonna remove it, I'll show you. We put one in the pancetta, and one in the front pioneer, upside down. As you can see, now, here, we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil, not a lot, because I wanna use this fantastic oil here. Just a little bit, just I don't want to burn the, the onions and garlic. First place you want to check out is called La Fattoria and it's located in Rieti in Amatrice and they got a fantastic food. You might want to check it out. We're going to get this fantastic tomato and we're going to add in a beautiful recipe. Come here, guys, I'll show you this beautiful, fantastic San Marzano tomato. San Marzano oh, from Napoli. Look. That's the way we do in Napoli. We get it and we smash it. So don't be, don't be, don't be, you know, fancy. It's okay, a little mess is fine. Get one more, remember this. We smash it like this with the hands. One more, one more beautiful, fantastic to me. Look how beautiful it is. Smash it. And now we're gonna get also the little pork over the sauce. In. That's it. And now. You let them cook for a few minutes, okay? There you go. The second place you might want to check out as well is called Ristorante Trattoria del Lago di Santino and it's also located in Amatrice, in Rietri. So. All right, guys, let's check our fantastic La Matriciana. La Matriciana. All right, so now it's time to remove the butt of the onions, the butt of the garlic. This one we can still let out, we don't care. Because we don't need just for flavor. So look how beautiful it is. Oh guys, you got no idea the smell of flavor as this pancetta. Look how crispy it is. Look how crispy. 
That's what you want. You want a crispy pancetta. Now we're gonna check our pasta. Now we're gonna take all the wood out. There it goes. There you go. Now this actually is a very delicate part because you don't want to burn yourself. Alright, okay. I got one body here. Doesn't want to run away. Okay, fine, stay there. <laughs> now we're gonna turn off the fire for water fire. Come here guys. So we're gonna romano cheese and we're gonna grab some romano cheese inside. And now we're gonna put as you can tell. I don't even put a salt in the recipe, and you know why? Because I don't want to be way too salty. So now we're gonna put salt, we put a black pepper, and we're gonna we're gonna do all our job. We're gonna make sure we melt all the cheese inside our bugatini, and then we know, and then I show you the pancetta. As you see, is still crisping up. I like crunchy, crunchy. But again, about the pancetta, everybody has different way to do it. And I like my pancetta crunchy, like it's gonna be like a crackers. I can see, look my beautiful black pepper. Let's put a black pepper. We put also a little bit here as well. We wanna give a flavor to our pancetta, right guys? There it goes. And then we do a little salt as well. You have to put a salt, otherwise we'll not taste anything with this blend. Same thing with the pancetta. Not a lot, just a little bit, just, uh, there you go. And now we're gonna do our job. We're gonna make sure we're gonna melt it, all this beautiful cheese on our bugatini. Look at that, look. Now you're gonna tell yourself, why the chef Reno, why the chef Reno is gonna add the, buga, the the pancetta. I'll show you in a minute. So now we put the fire back up again, higher, and we're gonna add part of it of our pancetta. Not all of it, it's part of it. The other one we're gonna use for decor. Turn off the fire here. There you go. There you go. Bang, 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 bang. Look at that. Yeah, look how beautiful this. Let's get let's get all the fat. Yeah, I know. You want to make sure. Mantecare, it's called Italian mantecare. Right now we mante mantechiamo our dishes. Romagna mia. So guys, in the meantime, also let me know if you know uh, part different Lazio that I haven't covered yet on this episode. I would love to comment. Put in the comment below it because I like your feedback. I want to know what you think. And also I want to know what city do you want me to cover next? Very important, I mean a lot to me. So now, let's put our dishes on the plate. Turn off the fire, as always said. Let's get all together our part of, part of the pancetta here. Now, I'm not gonna put all of it in the plate, otherwise look very bad. Like here, don't move, fantastico. And then, look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at that, okay, more pancetta here, more pancetta here, and now we are going to put them here, the dishes here, like this, we're going to clean it, and I guess what we're going to do now, we are going to put more bacon here, more pan bacon, pancetta, how you want to call it, look at that beautiful, fantastic, fantastic guys, fantastic, and then what, look, 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 look. Look, 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 look. Now we're gonna get some cheese. So Parmesan cheese instead this time. Look, Parmesan cheese, look. Parmesan cheese on top. Not a lot, you wanna be nice. So Parmesan cheese, Romano cheese, and then we put a little basilica. Little basilica here, guys. Come here, guys, come here, guys. Basilica, basilica, basilica. Boom, 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 boom. Look. Okay. And you put a bit more grease left over. Whatever is left is not actually Latin left. And now it's time to try. So, I don't want to mess this dish because it's too nice. I'm going to go from here, guys. Mm, look at that. Come here, come here, come here, guys. 
I got my one here, and now we're gonna taste our fantastic recipe. Bucatina amatriciana, amatriciana. Guys, what to say? You have to try this recipe. It's a classic for both region, from Roma and from Lazio. So both place are as a recipe classic that you want to try. Don't forget to check the boat restaurant. They're actually put on a fantastic episode. I hope you enjoy the place where you can go in Lazio. And stay, be positive, stay healthy and stay sweet, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and don't forget to share my episode for your family and loved ones. And I'll see you guys next week.